what's going on guys welcome to another fortnite video guys today we have a brand new day brand new patch and it's really early in the morning and they weren't supposed to update the game today but they actually still managed to pull it off so we're getting the v 7.10 patch notes right now guys and there is also some leak cosmetics and a big update to leaking so i'm gonna show you that in a little bit guys but let's first get through a little bit of the patch notes also there is a lot of interesting stuff so the leaks are kind of uh, there is some troubles with the leaks, but we are getting some different leaks, so maybe by the end of this video we'll have a lot of skin leaks. Currently we have one skin leak and we have the new updated the block. So if you guys remember the block from last patch was Risky Reels basically got erased and they added the block into Fortnite Creative. So anyone could build anything and it could get in the game. And so this is what we get in the game today. Guys, this is a brand new area, so if you drop on the block... It would be the block by Kansitak Kant, or some like, I mean, that's their name, whoever built it. So this is going to be the new area. We have a little bit of a green garden over here. We have a huge warehouse, some weird construction, some hay, some grass and some crazy stuff. So this is going to be the block for this week, which is going to be a new location. And it's kind of cool. It's built by somebody uh, completely random from the game. So I don't know how they pick it. If it's a fan favorite, most downloads, most visits or something. Probably not. But that means we could get Nuketown or something from Call of Duty on this. Because the Call of Duty maps have been really popular on Fortnite. But anyways, this is it for the block update. As you can see, this is going to be the next map. Or point of interest. And that was leaked by Fort FMBR leaks, I think, I believe. Uh, but anyway, so we have the patch notes. There is, it's a huge patch. I also have one uh, one skin leak today, only one, but it's cool. So you guys should wait uh, because there is gonna be changes to every single skin in Fortnite, I think. But anyways, we're gonna talk about that in a little bit, guys, because we might be getting some cool skin leaks as we do this video. Anyways, so 14 days of Fortnite. So this is gonna be a brand new event where you can get free things, the free skins and everything. Explore the new challenges playing the new and old LTMs and unlock rewards this seasonal event starting December 19th, which is tomorrow. So we're getting 14 days of Fortnite Christmas event. It's going to be limited time modes, 14 days of Fortnite. So basically every single day there is going to be a limited time mode that is different. So the, the event will feature both new and returning LTMs, large team modes that switch every two days and small team modes rotate every 24 hours. So it's going to be kind of crazy. We're going to get 50 v 50s to change every two days and then we're going to get small game modes every 24 hours. So basically every single day you log into Fortnite, it's going to be something different. So that is going to be really cool. And then starting December, log in each day to find out which modes are available and explore. Let us know which is your favorite LTM. So I think they're going to have rewards for this. And it's not exactly confirmed, but there's been a lot of people talking about how they are going to have special rewards for this. Maybe skins and stuff. So yeah, that's we're going to have that. It's going to be great. Weapons plus items. So we have heavy assault rifle changes. Uh, we're getting the reduced effectiveness of the heavy assault rifle while not aiming down the side. Uh, so once you, but once you aim, it's uh, actually better. We get increased accuracy, increased accuracy while standing still, reduced vertical recoil, so it's not gonna jump as much, and uh, reduced accuracy while jumping and falling. So if you are jumping or falling, it's pretty, it's gonna be bad. It's, if you're moving with this, it's just not gonna hit because 80 damage on a headshot was too much for just moving. Improved balloon controls. While in there, balloons can be released by pressing crouch on the keybind. Formerly the jump. Yeah, that's good. Players can now use right click to release a balloon when the balloon item is selected. That is cool. So they kind of fixed up the controls a bit. The balloons were a bit weird, but still pretty cool. For modes, it's available. The height at which the glider redeploys available has been decreased from 1000 units to 576 units. So you, when you can glider redeploy, it's going to be a bit easier because you can be closer to the ground. But that's just for the uh, limited time mode. So I, they're still working on the glider redeploy, which is cool because it was one of my favorite things, guys. So let's check out if there is any more leaks on Twitter. Not yet, not yet. But we have new pictures of the block, which is kind of cool. Drop in by the block and explore the newest community creation. Get lost in the mysterious Grimy Greens factory. So it's going to be called Grimy Greens. All right. Gameplay. Ground vehicles now slide, now slide on icy surface. Dude, that's cool. That should have been here last week, though. Eliminations from no-scoping enemies with sniper rifles is now shows up on the elimination feed. So if you no-scope somebody, it is going to show up. Dude, that's cool. Sticking a landing on a four wheels with a vehicle no longer damages the player. Yes, please. Epic Games. Thanks for fixing this. 
Storm Wings now take 50% more damage from hitting objects. So when you hit objects, your plane, the Storm Wing is gonna be getting broken. And also if you boost, you will take them less damage. So half of that. Damage done to players that are in the Storm Wing when it's shut down has been increased from 25 to 50. And I did mention this change yesterday. We're gonna be taking way more damage. Uh, but yeah, guys, in a little bit, I'll, sh I'll show you the leaked skin that we have and uh, what's going on with leaking. So make sure to stand till the end of this video because, I mean, we're saving the best for the end today. Anyways, damage dealt directly to health, so no shield damage from the plane breaking. Storm, will see Storm Wings will now take more damage from the strong structures or running through by them. Alright, so yeah, I mean, Storm Wing is getting nerfed, which is good because it was a bit too powerful. Holding a movement key while co uh, confirming an enemy will no longer force the player to continue moving. Alright, so we're getting some bug fixes. Zipline bug fixes, and these are really important. Uh, the mounted terrace, the other stuff is not too big, but the zipline fixes were so needed because there were so many glitches with the zipline, guys. So, we're getting the animation to no longer briefly play every time a player jumps uh, after building underneath the zipline. So, that was a glitch, and it would show us if you catch the zipline, but then you don't catch it. Player should retain proper momentum when latching onto a zipline. That is also good because sometimes you just jump and uh, fall down. This will fix the issue when it appears the player is jittery or rubber banding. Yeah, so they're fixing the lag, which is nice. Players will no longer use the ability to sprint if they emote while on the zipline. Hey, I didn't even know you can emote while on the zipline. That's cool. Fix an issue that caused players to become detached from the zipline right after seeing the animation above their head. That happens to me so often. So often. Uh, all right. And okay, so that is the zipline pulley will no longer remain in the world after eliminating a player while they're riding on it. Oh, yeah, that was the glitch as well. So they added a lot of glitches with the zipline. They fixed them. Actually, they didn't add the glitches. They fixed all the glitches. Anyways, we're getting events. So we're getting new explorer pop-up cups, uh, which is fine. I mean, whatever. If you guys are into the tournament mode, it is kind of cool. Uh, but we're not going to read that because there is so many changes today. It's kind of crazy. Playground. We get some bug fixes in Playground, even though not many people play Playground anymore. Uh, but anyways, performance improvements, all the improvements, UI improvements, R plus animation. Alright, so here is the thing. Zenith has now an idle animation in the lobby. Lynx has an idle animation as well. Ooh, the game just updated, but the servers are offline, guys. Unlucky. Anyways, Phone it now plays for 15 seconds while in the lobby. Dab for days, dude, that's my favorite change. Dab for days with the molting power, <laughs> with the new molting power of the infinite dab in the lobby. So the infinite dab lasts 10 hours. Literally lasts 10 hours, dude. That's crazy. Mobile changes, not gonna read those. Creative, though, we are getting a lot of new creative stuff. We're getting winter themed islands. A cold front brings in four, not one, not two, four. Winter themed islands you can select from the player rift on the starter island. So you're gonna be having four winter islands. I hope they don't delete them after the update is gone. But yeah, winter village prefabs. So we're gonna be able to build our own Christmassy wintery maps. And that should have been again last week. I don't know, it feels like they're rushing so much things on the Fortnite updates nowadays. Because yesterday they released the hoverboard. They removed the hoverboard, they removed the Infinity Blade, they showed the Infinity Blade. The Infinity Blade was spawning in the game yesterday after it was removed as well. So it's kind of crazy that it's just, it's all over the place now. They were not even supposed to release this update today, but they still ended up uh, releasing it. Which is kind of, I don't know dude, it's kind of weird. Uh, and they're also getting sued for the Fresh Dance and a bunch of stuff. Uh, let's actually, well, I could show it, alright. I think, yeah, I'll show it, whatever. How do I show it though? Oh, okay, I'm not gonna sh show it, but just imagine the fresh dance. You know, it. Uh, it's a good dance. It's popular in Fortnite, but it's gonna maybe get removed because <laughs> Epic Games get sued for it. But anyways, islands added four new winter islands, selectable from the player lift. Players now have two total the block islands instead of one, so you can have two the block creations at the same time, which is nice considering they're adding them to the game. We have a lot of bug fixes, new gameplay stuff. A new glider redeploy island setting so you can have on or off for glider redeploy which is nice because it was causing some issues on some of the mini games i was working on uh explosives are no longer able to destroy structures when the building damage in game settings is turned off uh you have toggle sprint you have a lot of stuff fixed an, an issue fixed an issue so they're fixed uh, fixing a lot of crashes and bugs that were currently present in the creative mo uh, mode anyways creative tools plus phone bug fixes Fixed issues where props could pass through the foundation structure of the block island. Oh boy. I mean, that's a good fix. <laughs> they, they're, doing, they're doing a great job. There is also a lot of uh, stuff for Save the World. Anyways, added six new winter, winter village prefabs, holiday prop packs, new cube covers on the cube gallery, 
uh, added logs and stuff, so nature gallery, added winter nature gallery. So they're adding a lot of winter stuff. Uh, and yeah, let's check out the leaks now, guys, because the thing is with this brand new patch, uh, so they added a lot of encrypted files. So, oh wait, new devices, Gunner stands and shoots any player within a two tower radius. So it's like a turret. Added new option to player spawners. Dude, that is cool. That is awesome. The new updates are cool. But anyway, so here are the first leaked skins. And this one was from Reddit. Amersaurus on Reddit. So basically, yesterday and the day before, a lot of leakers were saying that there is going to be new options coming to almost all skins in Fortnite. Or at least a lot of skins where you can change the hat, remove headgear from the skin. Which is going to be kind of interesting if you can just remove the mask of some skins. Uh, so that is coming to Fortnite most likely and we're getting this uh, new Link skin. So the Link skin is all this, you know, it's a Battle Pass skin, but they're going to be removing the tail. You would be able to remove the tail if you wanted to. Uh, so she had a tail and a ponytail as far as I remember. So this looks pretty weird and pretty odd without it, but I like it. So yeah, we, are, we would be getting that and that is the skin leak for today and I'll explain why guys. So uh, as you guys know, there is a lot of leakers that I follow. So currently over here we have... Uh, Fortnite BR and they do leak a lot of stuff. It's the Fortnite news website. So they leak the pack chunks for the Windows client and stuff. And they said doesn't look like we'll be getting many cosmetic leaks this patch. And if you know, if you guys know what the pack chunk is, they usually they used to just put the special skin, like the weekly special skin, like the snowman skin. They used to put them in files like that. And now they have a thousand and eight, as you can see, Fortnite Tapo, he said, a thousand and eight more uh, packs. Uh, for just this so these pack files are encrypted skins and they cannot be decrypted so as you can see all these files they cannot decrypt them yet i do believe somebody is gonna figure out a way for sure uh to decrypt this but so far we do not have a, a way to decrypt it so literally all the leaks everyone on twitter woke up early and they were so excited to see all the new patches and skins and we're getting just patch notes and the sizes dude that's what we're getting today and the link skin, of course. So the link skin is kind of nice. Uh, at least we got something, right? I mean, it's something. But yeah, as you can see, these are heavily encrypted. Uh, so we might have to wait for skin tracker or somebody to leak them because this, the skin tracker guys usually do these things pretty well. Uh, so yeah, for today, we have the, the new block creation uh, that was leaked. I don't even know how they leaked that, dude. I don't know how they just leaked the picture of it. I don't even know because the game's still offline as you saw, guys. Uh, but yeah, this is going to be the new block. So we got that. We got the new Link skin, which is cool. I'm upset that we're not getting new skins uh, leaked as well. Because I used to love just checking all the skins out. But we have so many patch notes. There is even more, guys. There is Save the World patch notes. But I know not, much, not like a lot of you guys play Save the World. But over here we have some skins and I think this is new. So this might be coming to Battle Royale as well. As you can see, the Santa skin is in there. It looks a bit different, but I don't know why. Maybe it's the camo. Dude, the gun camo looks so sick. Uh, but yeah, this is going to be for Fortnite Save the World only. They're getting a brand new... Um, so the big change is that you can down tier crafting, uh, which basically means that if you have the legendary blueprint, you can craft a rare or epic or whatever you want. We're getting new mission system, we're getting a lot of stuff, we're getting a brand new event, which is gonna have a brand new game mode. We're getting a lot of heroes, as you can see, Cloak Shadow Ninja, Jolly Headhunter, Sergeant Winter, In the Winter Llama, ooh, interesting. And there is variants, uh, Jungle Jess, Outlander. We're getting a lot of stuff, dude. We're getting a lot of new things. Uh, they're fixing stuff, they're patching stuff. We're getting new weapons, medieval weapon set available in Winter Llamas. Do medieval weapon set now, ginger blaster pistol, melee weapon perks. Yeah, so there is a lot of crazy stuff, but I know a lot of you guys don't play Save the World or don't care for Save the World. So we're just gonna leave that at the poster. I'm gonna play though, uh, because I love it. Uh, it's a really fun game, it's a really fun game. But yeah, you have the Christmas zombies, and over here you have like these crazy skins. Dude, these skins, like, I'm definitely gonna probably have something, uh, some of this on the thumbnail, because these are really lit. But anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to leave a like. If there is any leaks, if any leaks emerge, I'm gonna definitely post a video on it and show you guys the brand new uh, leaks or whatever we get, we end up getting. We might be getting the skins still, we don't know, guys. It's just, uh, there is... Everything is encrypted now, so uh, it sucks. There is a lot of packs and whatever, I don't know. They just keep adding them as we go now as well. As I'm speaking, a lot of leakers are tweeting out like, oh, there is even more leaks. Uh, so, yeah, guys, thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to hit the like button. We are getting a huge patch this week. The 14 days of Fortnite is going to be really cool. And I'll see you next time, guys, for another video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.